Hey guys, what is going on? This is Travis and welcome back to Coffee, Computers and More. And I am with my brother from another mother, Matt. Matt, and uh, yeah, today we are talking about Runza Chili and Cinnamon Roll Ice Cream. And this is made by the 402 Creamery in Lincoln, Nebraska. This was a limited run ice cream, but they claim they're gonna make some more at some point. It did sell out basically in one day, so it's gonna be the new thing. So Matt, what do you wanna tell the viewers about Runza real quick in case they've never heard of it before? Runza is a regional restaurant. Um, it's an institution. I institution. It is. Uh, based in Lincoln, Nebraska. Um, they um, pretty much think of it as a hot pocket, if you will, sandwich that has uh, shredded cabbage, onion, ground beef, spices. You can add cheese or other accompaniments inside of it. Um, about that long, that thick. Uh, very good hearty meal. Um, Sometimes called crowd burgers in some places. Crowd burgers. Are, it's it's derivative of the uh, German uh, Breyer Rock, I believe is how you pronounce it. Okay. Um, which is kind of it's more of a rounded shape where they put filling inside, but um, it, it's it's like a uh, it's like a second cousin of that, if you will. We'll put some links to Runs in the video, and you guys can check it out. If you ever come through Nebraska, I mean, Runs is the place where Nebraskans are always going to take you. And uh, so now that brings us to the chili and cinnamon roll combo. So growing up in Nebraska in grade schools, it's common to have chili and then in the wintertime. And then they also would make fresh cinnamon rolls. Yep. And because you had those two sitting together as kids, we had no choice but to just dunk the cinnamon roll in the chili, right? I mean, that's one thing we would do. Well, and it's, it's you know. something that's been going on since after World War II. Yeah. In the Midwest, uh, uh, Washington State, Wyoming, Oregon. But it's mostly known for being a Midwestern institution. Um, and, and it's actually got its uh, origins with uh, some of the logging camps in the Northwest back in the 20, early 20th century, according to the Smithsonian. Um, additionally, a lot of the reason that chili and cinnamon rolls came into play were because of the nutritional standards that came out after World War II for public schools. And to be honest, this was a really great, easy pairing uh, for a lot of the uh, schools to go ahead and put for um, the students to eat. There you go. There you go. And they still serve it in the schools in Nebraska. It's still a, a popular thing in the public and parochial schools. It's just, it's a, not it's, just Nebraska. It's, it's, it's all over the place. But but we, we want to say it's in Nebraska. Yeah, we, we, want, we want to just well, say it's I mean, in Nebraska. Nebraska runs it is pretty much a Nebraska institution, even yeah. though it is in other states, Kansas, Colorado. And they Iowa, put that heritage in history. They put that in ice cream for us to enjoy today. Yes. So we're just going to get right into it. So um, it just says chili spiced ice cream with pieces of gooey cinnamon roll. All right. Let's, yeah. uh, let's crack it open and see what we got here. So it's got that, that chili powder tint going on to it. It's got that cumin tint going on to it. Yep. yep. Uh, all right, man. I'll let you get a whiff and you, you go ahead and tell people what it smells like. What's it smell like? It's already going to be messy, I can tell. Yeah, it smells, uh, the, the chili powder is extremely strong. I mean, that chili seasoning, uh, that's the first thing that hits your nostrils. When yeah, you, when you the, the, the vanilla is just not really noticeable there. It's, it, it's yeah. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. So here's the thing, though. So as you get older, you're going to find that your taste buds are changing. And uh, this whole savory, sweet, spicy thing together, it's just this odd combination. Is that, that you, like, is, are we going to be talking about the, how our body changes? Is yes, that, that, yes, is, exactly. Oh, <laughs> we're, getting, we're getting hair and all over our face now and oh, our voices are getting deeper yeah. yeah well you know so 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 as your taste buds change things like this start to appeal to you more maybe than when you're a younger person so you know we're just gonna dive into it and see what's in there i don't know if there's chunks of hamburger or beans i think it's wonderful we have like all four food groups i, in I there. presume I'm, it's uh, according to this it's just chili spiced ice cream with I, uh, cinnamon roll so all right I, i'm hoping it's <laughs> the, the only chili part is just the Seasoning. Who knows, man? I mean, they could put some beans in there and increase the fiber content. We need that at our age. Yeah, well. All right. True. You know what? Here you go, man. All Grab right. a scoop. We're going to have to do like a cheers on this one. This is kind of awkward. So, cheers. All right, cheers. So, I'm cool sharing a container with this guy because we've shared a lot of things in our life. And so, the container is really not a big deal. Well, all right. Right. Here we Three, two, <laughs> Here we one. go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, if you could put an enchilada in ice cream. <laughs> that's it it's 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 it tastes like an enchilada well cheese enchilada did you get a piece of cinnamon roll mm -hmm. with it i did yeah the cinnamon the cinnamon roll unfortunately is uh <laughs> it's like gooey gooey cinnamon roll get, get in on that check it out megan there's like a chunk of cinnamon roll Whoa. there for you yeah so that hits you you get that cinnamon the sugar the bread mm -hmm. like if you could pack a, a cinnamon roll in an enchilada that's what that it's gonna taste like <laughs> 
Yeah, it's mm. it's yeah, the cinnamon roll is definitely overpowered by the chili seasoning that they used. I think if they would have dialed back the chili seasoning a scotch. Increase the cinnamon content. I know that's not an official unit of measurement. Um, <laughs> a, a smidge? We use a, smidge. A smidge. Okay. Yeah. Um, or, you know. Okay, so let's talk about the ice cream itself. Mm -hmm. Get in there. Get in. Get some okay. of that. Yeah. So, so the ice cream itself is very creamy. Mm -hmm. um, it is It is salty. The salt is something that also shows up on it. And so salty mm -hmm. ice cream is a different thing. It's like you're eating like rock salt on ice or snow or something. So yeah. I don't know how to rate it, man. I mean, it is what it says it is. Yeah. There's no surprise here. It is I mean, it's exactly. not false advertising. No, no, no. So if you're down for like that Southwestern essence, if you like that chili essence. If you like Skyline Chili, because Skyline Chili traditionally has um, hints of cinnamon and okay. sweetness in it. Okay, okay. Um, you may dig this um, if you've been out east. Um, show it off a little bit. There you go. If you do chili and cinnamon rolls, and you know how to do it, and you do it right, unlike certain professional uh, chefs, um, who shall remain nameless. Oh, come on now. He's got way more subs than we do on YouTube. Yeah. I, anyway. It still doesn't mean I can't call him. If you don't know what we're talking about, you can look up the Alton Brown chili cinnamon roll incident. It's yeah, not his it's, fault. He didn't know. We'll give him a pass. Yeah, I, right? think, we'll I, think pass some, I think somebody lied to him on purpose. Probably. Just, probably, to, just to humiliate him. Probably guy, somebody so. from Iowa. So, yeah, you don't you don't just pour this, the chili on top of the cinnamon roll. You, you dunk the cinnamon roll in the chili. Yeah, but anyway, that's a discussion for another time. Yeah, that's... So back to the ice cream. Should people try this? Who's going to enjoy this? Who's going to like this, Matt? What do you think? And people that enjoy uh, that enjoy mixing their salt and their sweet together, spicy sweet together. Like, like yeah. you know, like yeah. say your sea salt caramel. If you if you like if you like sea salt caramel, if you like spicy, if you like skyline chili. You're probably going to like this. There's or, a big old chunk of cinnamon roll in there. Yeah, if, yeah. if you like that kind of flavor. You know, so I know this is my last bite. I, we got to save it for the for your wife and, and the kids, but yeah. you know, all right. Yeah, say some for me. <laughs> Thanks, Megan. You're, you're welcome. Uh, well, okay, all right. I mean, it I, it kind of grows on me a little bit. You know what it needs? It needs some caramel. It needs some caramel syrup on it, or taco sauce, or maybe like yeah. Wow, <laughs> some Dad. Egg. Let's put some wow. cholula on there. We need some cholula to kick it up a notch. Maybe some tapatio. Yeah, I'm, I'm all right. I'm th I feel like I need to wrap. I feel like honestly, I need to wrap it in a burrito or something. That's the next thing we can do. <laughs> we can, we can bring back like a taco enchilada. taco, like the taco enchilada, the chocolata, taco enchilada. So, and then we put yeah. that in there, and then it's like it tastes like yeah. yeah. So, so here's the thing. So, chili and cinnamon roll. If you like the two combined, if you want to try, if you like that spicy sweet combo, mm -hmm. it's going to be a ten out of ten for you. The ice cream is very smooth, very creamy. The ice well, cream for is a, done right for a true creamery. Um, yeah, the local point. Local, They're on point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, yeah, if you are in Link in the Lincoln area, you make it a point to stop there. They do some of the best ice cream this side of Zesto's or the UNL Dairy Store. There you go. There you go. So check out 402 Creamery. Check out Runs if you're ever in Nebraska. If you happen to be able to try this ice cream, if it's for sale at 402 Creamery when you're randomly stopping by, I mean, if it's a huge hit, they'll probably keep making it. I don't know. Well, I mean, it but, sold uh, out in one day. Yeah, so, it's gone. It's gone. I mean, but, <laughs> just, the mor just the morbid curiosity of it helped drive sales, so I'm sure they'll make another batch. Absolutely. I just wonder if all of the first test tasters will report back like we do and will scuttle. So increase the cinnamon, increase that frosting vanilla flavor, mm -hmm. so we really notice that cinnamon roll goodness. Decrease the cumin a little bit, mm -hmm. and then I think you're good. You're have that, we want that light kind of cinnamon roll, that light chili flavor in the background, but then the, the sweet, the cinnamon and the vanilla is what really needs yeah, to dominate. It, it, yeah, the chili seasoning pretty much just comes up and, and, and pimp slaps you in the face. All righty, so there you have it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is our take on uh, the Runza chili and cinnamon roll ice cream made by Fork to Creamery. I want to thank you guys for watching today. This is Travis. This is Matt. By the way, we're going to be launching a channel soon that's going to be featuring uh, Nebraska restaurants. And uh, we don't want to reveal the name just yet because we got to get it copyrighted and trademarked and so on. But um, yeah, it's going to happen. Yeah. It's going to happen. Lincoln, uh, Lincoln Omaha restaurants, uh, Nebraska restaurants, uh, place, things to do with family, places to go. Um, we're wanting it to be a celebration of small businesses, uh, especially in around Lincoln and Omaha. Yeah, Nebraska's got a lot to offer. A lot of people say it's a flyover state. If you want to think that, that's fine. Don't come here. But for the people that come here, it is truly a gem in the Great Plains. It, it is. is. There you go. All right, guys. So this is Travis. This is Matt. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys later. Have fun. Be safe. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.